What is up, YouTube? I am your host, Professor Sticks, back at it again with another Call of Duty Warzone video. Today, we are going to be comparing the Cold War AK-47 and the XM4. I will be sharing with you the stats and I'll be giving you guys the best attachments. We're going to find out which is the best long range AR in Warzone. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I make Warzone tips and tricks videos and I compare the best weapons in Warzone. Let's get right into it. When we're looking at the Cold War AK-47, it has an ADS speed of 267 milliseconds and a movement speed of 4.76 meters per second. The XM4 has an ADS speed of 238 milliseconds and a movement speed of 4.76 meters per second. The Cold War AK-47 completes a reload in 2.24 seconds and has a rate of fire of 600 rounds per minute. The XM4 has has a reload speed of 2.36 seconds and a rate of fire of 721 rounds per minute. Let's take a look at the damage profile. The Cold War AK-47 does 54 damage to the head, which means it's going to take 5 shots to down a fully armored opponent, and the XM4 does 45 damage to the head, which means it's going to take 6 shots to down a fully armored opponent. The AK-47 does 36 damage to the chest, which means it's going to take 7 shots to down a fully armored opponent, and the XM4 does 30 damage to the chest which means it's going to take nine shots to down a fully armored opponent. Now, keep in mind that the effective damage range for the Cold War AK-47 is within 0 to 26 meters, and for the XM4, it is within 0 to 22 meters. Let's take a look at the time to kill. When we're looking at the TTK, if you are hitting all of your headshots with the Cold War AK-47, you are going to down a fully armored opponent in 400 milliseconds compared to the XM4, which is going to do that in 416 milliseconds. If you're hitting all of your chest shots, the Cold War AK-47 is going to down a fully armored opponent in 600 milliseconds, compared to the XM4, which is going to do that in 666 milliseconds. Now, you do need to hit at least two or three headshots with the Cold War AK-47 to reduce your time to kill to 500 milliseconds, and with the XM4, you do need to hit at least one headshot to reduce your time to kill to 500 and 83 milliseconds now let's take a look at the damage profile at range the cold war ak-47 does 48 damage to the head which means it's going to take six shots to down a fully armored opponent and the xm4 does 40 damage to the head which means it's going to take seven shots to down a fully armored opponent the cold war ak-47 does 32 damage to the chest which means it's going to take eight shots to down a fully armored opponent and the xm4 does 27 damage to the chest which means it's going to take 10 shots to down a fully armored opponent now keep in mind that the damage drop off is 26 meters and beyond for the cold war ak-47 and 22 meters and beyond for the xm4 now let's take a look at the time to kill at range with the cold war ak-47 if you hit all of your chest shots you're gonna down a fully armored opponent at range in 700 milliseconds compared to the xm4 at range if you hit all of your chest shots you're gonna down a fully armored opponent in 749 milliseconds now if you mix in two headshots with the cold war ak-47 you can bring that down to 600 milliseconds however with the xm4 you just need to hit one headshot to bring that time to kill down to 666 milliseconds at range all right so here are the best attachments for the cold war ak-47 you're going to want to go with the gru suppressor the spetsnaz rpk barrel the spetsnaz grip the 60 round mag and the axle arms 3x or any optic of your choice for the xm4 you're going to want to go with the agency suppressor the 13.5 inch task force barrel the field agent grip the 60 round mag and the axle arms optic or any optic of your choice all right let's get into my final thoughts the cold war ak-47 is a bit less forgiving because of that slower rate of fire and the xm4 is a little bit better in terms of its rate of fire however it does offer a little bit more bounce when it comes to that recoil i think right now the xm4 is great because it can be used as a sniper support an smg and a long range ar but the ak-47 is a bit more superior meaning that it does have a higher neck damage than the xm4 meaning it's going to be a little bit more consistent when you are aiming for those headshots than the xm4 and so even though both of these weapons have a very similar ttk you do want to keep in mind that the xm4 is more forgiving and you only need to hit one headshot to be able to reduce that time to kill with the ak-47 it's less forgiving and you do need to hit at least two headshots to reduce that time to kill all right guys that's it for me if you like the video has all Always make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can find your way back for more call of duty content i'll see you guys on the next one peace